thing, doing a jig sort of thing. But, um, so this is the map. It is Ohana. And? Well, in Ohana, spawning in the top left-hand corner <laughs> is our orange Terran. It is Nightwolf. The typical Terran emblem on the front door of his base. Hey, what color is that? And his opponent... The that's not color. funny. That's not funny. I don't even think that's funny. His opponent, the yellow Terran, uh, OG Cantro. Ooh, look at that angle. Oh, his... I never look at it from this angle. Man. It makes... It looks like there's a cannon there on the back. It's like... It's like it's a, the booster. It's a it flies. Oh, that's right. Remember? You're right. You don't play StarCraft, do you? I was going to say... What are you here for? Absolutely not. I was going to say it's a butt cannon. No, it's a booster. You but, know what I don't like? How the engineer base can't fly anymore. Yeah. In Brood War and the regular like StarCraft, pads, like, eh? like, we have sh the technology where this can fly. But StarCraft 2 comes on and they're like, we forgot how, how I shot it. web. <laughs> what do I do? I don't know how to fly. Like, why'd they do that? So They forgot anyways. how to build it. The technology was lost. The academy should be the only thing that doesn't fly. And the other things, like no, the, no, no. the fusion cores exactly. and stuff. So, there is no academy in StarCraft 2, though. Maybe we'll cast some Brood Wars later That's for why hilarity. they can't build anymore. They didn't go to the academy. They didn't learn how to build oh, it. Oh, snap. Look at that. Meta. Meta. All right. So, let's see what's happening. Exactly the same build. Maybe just a little bit faster on the SCP production by our friend Nightwolf. That makes a difference, man. At this point in the matchup, everything happens the same, except for when Nightwolf decides to throw a wrench in his build order and gets a refinery. Mm -hmm. So that early refinery going up, um, coming down right after the barracks actually was placed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once again, we could be going for Reapers. We could be taking up to a quick factory. I'm thinking battle cruisers. It's, it's, it's overlords. He's going for overlords. <laughs> At least mine was feasible. No, no it's not. But, uh, you know what I really hope? I want to see a battle cruiser game. Oh, like, oh, Battle Cruiser! <laughs> Battle Cruiser, Yamato Cannon! Man, I really want to see that. Uh, carriers? I don't want to see Broodlords. Yeah, I don't want to see those. GG Lords. I don't want to see those, see those anymore. Uh, Battle Cruisers and uh, Carriers, though, please come to this tournament. Uh, we do see that both of our players are upgrading to the Orbitals. One Marine coming out for both of our players. And um, we'll see how they transition from here. We'll see how this positional play, this Terran versus Terran, happens. And now Cantro going for a little bit more of an economy. Definitely. Nightwolf already collecting 100 gas. Just uh, plopped it down in the form of a factory. So no Reapers here. He's going to be getting those early Hellions uh, coming out. Or he could be taking up to a quick Banshee. Mm -hmm. uh, we will see how he decides to play this and now with the uh, command center being built on the low ground It will be prone to any sort of aggression coming out by Nightwolf Which doesn't seem to be happening at all, but he does have the watchtower guarding the front base Interesting story about Nightwolf is that he typically plays 2v2 mm -hmm. So he's very um, accustomed to very cheesy games because that's what 2v2 is, right? So he's very his build orders are very honed for 2v2 play I'm really interested to see how he plays this out in his 1v1 style. Exactly. So. I think the 2v2 play actually might be helpful for him to stopping that cheese, knowing exactly what's going to be going on. It's like he trained in a hyperbolic time chamber like Goku, and he's going to be getting stronger. And look, it's going to be a proxy starport here. Interesting. So we'll probably see some Banshees. That's probably what the gas was coming up for, just as you said. A Banshee will arrive very quickly indeed. As soon as that starport is uh, uh, finished, he'll be able to start pumping out his air units, and um, I think uh, Cantrell will be caught unawares. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If he, Especially if he just drops another mule right Right before the Banshee comes here, there's going to be no scans left, but he is getting a second orbital command. So, you know, depending on the timing of that, there's one scan being used so right there. Right. So, if the Banshee does arrive and does have its cloak, um, Cantrell could be in for a bad time. Yeah. So, here comes uh, a tech lab coming through from that starport. Two Hellions are being built at a time. So, this is actually very, very well put together, this build. These Hellions should arrive at the front door to put a little bit of harassment, pull the Marines away from the main base. Meanwhile, a Banshee will come floating in from the back and do damage on the main base. And this build just might work because of the uh, two base play that Cantro is going off of and the one base all inish play coming out by Nightwolf. And there goes that uh, map awareness there by Nightwolf scouting his own third. See, there was, coming. exactly. See, there uh -huh. was a hidden. Okay. Um, starboard over there, but look at this. The pressure is going to be coming at the front. He wants the feign aggression in the front while that Banshee is able to take out the damage in the back. And we can see Cloak is about 25% done. Indeed, so this Banshee will be able to float in very quickly. The Cloak won't even need to be done because all of the Marines are going to be pulled to the front of the base. We already see Kanto coming up with a response. The bunker is there. The SCV is placed to place even more... No, an, uh, a supply depot. So these buildings, he's already putting a lot of his defense up at the front. We'll have to see how 
he defends against this all he has in his base is a couple hellions and now the hellions and the marines are coming into the base of kanto and nightwolf is doing some major damage to this bunker this bunker will go down the one marine will come out the scvs are getting beautifully roasted by these uh hellions beautifully placed to oh, roast them in a line oh here comes the banshee but there's already a bunker in the back oh my <laughs> gosh looks like he knew exactly what's happening but the banshee is gonna go behind that bunker and the marines cannot shoot that far their bullets just fall out of the sky once they oh, get past no. six range and there's just so much damage right now going on for the uh scvs the marines are gonna be able to get this machine there is cloak but he's not gonna be cloaking it's not even done yet no it's not oh, oh little miss and it just finishes just now but he is getting more banshees we do see a banshee coming up by kanto as well these hellions are doing great damage absolutely killing the mineral line so we on the back of this we do see that nightwolf is getting his expansion so very clever to take out all the economy a lot of the units of uh kanto to knock him down to size and he still retained a big portion of his front army exactly and it looks like you know since the whole scv line got decimated here Oh. Cantrell was able to um, drop all those mules, but that means he has no scans for this next banshee that's coming into his base and here it comes and he did also recycle that ba uh, bunker in his base so he won't be able to defend against this banshee at all all he has is hellions and another banshee this banshee is gonna have the best day of his life here raining <laughs> fire and these hellions are like yo Yo, stop that! And they can't do anything at all. Marines are gonna have to come out very quickly, even though we see none in production. Oh my gosh, trying to get the engineering bay fast as possible, but then um, <laughs> oh, I was able to take out that SCP trying to build that engineering bay over there. If we look at the worker difference right now, 15 to 28. Nightwolf has 28 workers, while Cantrell is down to 15. One Marine coming oh. out trying to save it, but no, those SCPs are gonna be going all down, so the whole line of SCPs at the main base are already dead. Some of them were transferred to that natural but really at this point the damage has been done huge economy disadvantage and now he's kind of stuck with with whatever i mean all he can do is produce his turrets to defend a couple of hellions are coming out to do a little bit of aggression nightwolf wisely raises his supply depots to defend his uh his hellions come back to defend but this one banshee is now going to be trouble for him he is producing one marine but he's going to need more than that to defend against this banshee um and while the banshee of his own is doing some damage to the base of uh Canto. I like how the Raven dropped that turret, is just trying to do everything it can to defend for that Banshee. Also lifts off the Command Center, I don't think that's really necessary with the, um, Hellion's not doing too much damage to metal structures, but this Banshee is having a field day right now. Already has 26, 26 heal. it is a commander. Is unreal. He is now going to be able to kill a few more SC or a few more SCVs at the base. Does get taken out by the Viking in the end. The Raven does actually come in handy now, which is uh, very lucky uh -oh. for him. But now the base of Nightwolf is under siege. He's desperately trying to take down these Hellions, and he will with this Banshee eventually. And the tech, the tech lab. Oh, goodness. So the now the tech very lab. delayed. But um, nice turrets up in the mineral line of Nightwolf over here. Be able to take out that Banshee without a problem. <laughs> See where he hit his tank? <laughs> Go away, Banshee. Uh, the tank does survive the onslaught. And now both players are going to reset for a bit. Although we do see Nightwolf feeling comfortable enough to put his two Hellions out on the map. Ch does get a little bit of map awareness. A Banshee is alive as well. So Kanto has been devastated so this hard. Proxy, He's been in such hardcore. a hole. Yeah, that uh, I'm not sure if he'll have enough to defend against this. No, well, if you look at the supply difference... Um, Nightwolf is double the supply right now. I mean, most of them are in workers, all that's for sure. But here comes the other Banshees. Raven's going to be um, spotting it, and the Vikings are going to be taking it down. But there are two Hellions in the base. Make that three Hellions. All these auto turrets. This is the worst. This is the funniest fight I've ever seen. Oh, no. But at least the, the auto turrets are the best trade off you'd ever want to do in this matchup. The Viking even lands, decided to do some damage. The SCVs tried to surround the Hellions. The Hellions are going to have a good lineup, but they just can't do enough damage. And Kanto actually GG's. Too much.